Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are starting a new room makeover. We are going to be working in my son's room. I am so excited. It's gonna be moody, it's gonna be dark, and it's gonna be fun. And most of all, it's gonna be a surprise. So let's get started. Okay, here's what we're starting with. I touched on this a couple of weeks ago in my upstairs planning video, but we're gonna go into a little bit more detail. So the bed is staying, just needs to be touched up with some new bedding. These doors are coming off. The sliding doors are so annoying. So we're going to hopefully figure out a way where we can make them open out so we can see everything in his closet at once. His toy box is getting touched up for sure, and it'll go back over here. And this wall right here, his Lego table is also getting a makeover, but the very first thing that I need to do is, of course, prep work. I need to prep for paint. Thank goodness, it's just a couple of things that I need to do before I can get in here and paint. So this was just a cable box that I guess the previous owners had had a TV up um, at some point up on this wall because there's a cable running from down low. So I just removed that cable that an extension had been added clearly. And so that's why I'm able to close up this hole. And you guys have seen me do this before on my channel. If you've seen previous videos, there were no studs that this was attached to. So I am basically creating a stud by putting some wood behind where I'm gonna put this drywall right here so I can screw the drywall to the wood. And then I will just go over it with some joint compound and then texture it and it'll blend right in like it was never there. The reason that I'm removing this door trim is I mentioned before that I'm going to take off these sliding doors and kind of convert these doors hopefully to French doors that open out and they are not constructed currently the way that they need to be to be able to do that. There is no door frame on the inside, it's just drywall so I'm going to have to add that so this trim is not in the right place and it's just a whole can of worms that I'm opening up to do this but that's probably gonna be next video, but I just wanted to explain like why I'm taking the trim off so you don't think that you have to do this to paint, but I'm just doing it to get ready to turn these doors into something else. After all that prep work, it's finally time to start painting. And this is the color Hail Navy by Benjamin Moore, but I had it color matched at Sherwin-Williams. And I've never done a color this dark before. Actually, the laundry room that I did was kind of dark, the cabinets, not the whole room. So I was a little nervous about doing a whole room this dark, but honestly, it looks 
it's so good and it's what my son wanted. He wanted it to be dark. He actually wanted black. So I had to kind of say about a navy and he ended up really liking that too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start trimming everything out. I like to do that first because it takes longer, it's more tedious. And so I just like to go ahead and knock that out. And then when I go back in with my roller, it just seems like it goes by much faster. Okay, one coat down. Look how good it's looking. It is so dark and I love it. But more importantly, I think my son is going to love it. So I wanna get a quick second coat on the wall so we can wrap up the painting. And then I wanna move on to another project that I wanna check off the list today. Okay, the painting is all done, and now I wanna give his Lego table a little bit of a makeover. So these are for Lego Duplo, which are like the bigger blocks, and he wants to change it out to smaller. And also this is a little bit bright for the like colors I'm going for in his room, so we're gonna paint it the wall color and change the top and put some different Legos in the bottom, and it'll be good as new. Okay, let's talk about this pink color for a minute. I am by no means an expert, but I have learned some things along the way. But you can see how this blue, compared to that other blue that was there before, you can see that it looks very gray. It has a really gray undertone. 
if I were to swatch this color on top of that blue color, it would look too gray to me. But if I were to put it on something else that is very gray, it might look too blue. And so when you're swatching paint colors, try to swatch them on like a poster board or paper or something white so you can really see the undertone of the paint because basically what you're seeing right now is it in comparison to something else with a different undertone. Whereas if you have a blank slate like white, you can really see the undertone of a color without it being compared to anything else. I hope that makes sense, but I've made that mistake a bunch of times and just wanted to give you guys that tip. After I got this last base plate piece in, I just took some Legos and used it to click together these base plates because I didn't want them to be off. I wanted it to be like one continuous piece. So these will just hold them all together and make sure that they're like aligned perfectly with each other. Okay, I put a bunch of furniture back in here and we've got a lot of blue going on. But I think I'm just gonna leave the dresser for right now because we still have a bunch of things going on the wall, some more things to do. So I'm gonna leave it for now and move on to another situation that we need to address here. This is like an entire Nerf armory we've got going on here. And so my son wants a way to store all his guns where he can see everything and be able to play with them more and probably shoot me. <laughs> grab this piece of pegboard at Lowe's. I didn't even have to cut it or anything. It was already two feet by four feet. And I'm just taking some navy spray paint because I feel like that'll hold up better than latex paint and just spraying this board. I did pegboard because I wanted it to be customizable. As you saw before, he's got a lot of guns and I'm sure he'll get more and he likes to play with different ones at different times so he can move the pegs around if he wants to put his favorite ones up. So I think that this is just the best option for him. So to install this pegboard, we're gonna use this and it's gonna go through the hole, but it needs to be off of the wall. So we're gonna use this spacer behind it. And then this part will go into our little drywall anchor and that will hold it off of the wall so we can put our things on the front that are gonna be used to hold up the Nerf guns.
I know this lighting is awful, but this situation here is so much better. He'll be able to see everything that he has so he can play with it instead of it being buried back there in the closet. Speaking of the closet, we still need some doors on the closet, so lots left to do in this room. But this is where we're gonna stop for today's video. So many projects left to do in this room, so many projects left to do in the house. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss anything else that's coming up. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next week. Bye!